before I get side gone up from the club around six in the morning. The days come home, a million conversations to watch. Yeah, the reason's always changing. You know, as I say, I keep reiterating the point. I, I started off doing it, one for myself to play in front of people, next to like earn a bit of cash. And then now it's like, and like do a little bit, of, like to get a bit more work out of it. It's the point like where I can, if, if I want to go out busking every couple of weeks, it's because I want to, not because I have to, or not because I need to. Like, if the money ain't good, then so what at that point? Like, it's just because you've just gone out because I want to. Which is a nice change, it shows, it shows that in the past few years, like, well, the past couple of years since doing busking, like, because I can go out just because I want to now, it shows like I've come, it's like a good way of like sort of viewing my progress. I started busking when I was about 17 and mainly was just to it was just to play outside the bedroom really. Before I was a busker I used to work at Vision Express um, whilst being uh, doing my A-levels in college but um, that was how I made the money, but I, I stopped that. But the more he coasted through education because it seemed like the right thing to do. Like. Yeah, it's a great showcase for people who sort of maybe don't have the right avenues to get into music or, or to certainly break into popular music. She keeps me warm. Try to take money. I mean, the first time it happened was about, about a year and a half ago. A woman passed, and she was obviously homeless, and like she, she went up to the case. I, I did this way for a second, then I had bullets around, and her hand is coming out of my case, and she's obviously taking a little bit. And so I, I, I just, I just, I'm amused by it. So I, I just said down the mic, obviously the amps going for a few, you can hear the amps from way down the street. So I just said, can someone just stop that woman? She's just taking my money, and. Um, she was sort of like, oh, it's just only a couple of quid, you know what I mean? But, I mean, I, I never mind helping anyone out, but it's sort of, I don't know, you just, it's horrible, wouldn't it? I mean, we've busted her for a couple of years now, and you get to know, like, sort of, like, everyone. I mean, you might not remember their name, or, like, you, you might not even ask each other's names, but you always know each other, and, like, you always have a chat. You'll call this person, they'll turn off the ramp, whatever, they'll have a chat for a second. And if you've had a good day, you've got a bit of money pocket, it's like, all right. I'm in a duo called Morgan and Nat, it's quite a sort of like country folk based sort of stuff, it's all our own material. And uh, we play uh, venues at least, we try to aim for three or four gigs a week basically. <laughs> Actually, we've just been recording our EP over in Essex, um, which will be going to be released on the 6th of December, which we can't wait for, which is a massive launch party. I think busking is a great way to raise money for yourself, um, using your talents to get money. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Bristol is like, especially because Bristol is so liberal about it. Like, um, this is the case of like they, they like it in Bristol just because it's like good for tourists. And stuff. And I think if, if someone's willing, I mean, I think it takes quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of balls really to do it, really. Because like, I mean, a lot of people come to me and say, "How do you do it? Just stand in front of people just singing?" And like, you, 
And now, nowadays, I don't really think about it, but I mean, you are literally just singing in the middle of the street in front of like random, random strangers. I mean, it's like, imagine if you were a stand up comedian and then you were just sort of standing in the, in the street, like, uh, just telling jokes. It's the same thing, but you just, it's just petrifying, isn't it, really? But, what, um, how did John Wimbu do anyway? Still going to Fox? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to Fox back. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to, like, um, Gigs where I'm playing and venues, I always still get nervous because the day I stop getting nervous is the day I just sort of say, right, let's stop now. I hate the weather. I hate British weather. British weather is the worst thing in the world to predict. If you type in on my browser, on my phone, on my laptop, on my iPad, everything, type in www.bbc, it just comes up with BBC Weather Bristol straight away just because I'm constantly checking it. It's quite nice. And every now and then, like, um, I'll find like a video of me on Facebook, or I'll find a, I'll find a video of me on YouTube. Like, there's a couple of just like some random people take it. And I, I mean, they might only get like 10 views or whatever, but still they can take the time to video it and put it on there. It's quite good, I like that. There was one time I did, uh, <laughs> my mate sent me a, like, a Facebook link, so I looked at it, it's just a picture of me saying, oh no, not this kid again. <laughs> you get over that, it's like, what well, else? Uh, one in every 20 people. Really. <laughs> but it's alright. Um, it used to be just like, just to, um, getting a little bit experienced playing in front of people um, and then it turned into the fact that like, oh this is a not bad little way to make, make a bit of money but in terms of inspiration I mean uh, like I don't know like every time I if I'm say if I'm not busking and I see someone busking I just want to be busking like we've got a big lawnmower up here <laughs> I kind of feel I might have like sort of uh, squeezed the orange of all this juice a little bit. <laughs> um, so like it's good to go to other places. I mean, I go like went to Camden last year, which is awesome. It's a really good day out. Um, go to Cardiff quite a lot as well. It's quite easy for me because you just got on the train, fifteen pounds, get a return, and you're there for a day, and it's like it's only sort of 30, 40 minutes away on the train, so it's nice and easy. I was busking, it was not the August just gone, the one before that. And um, this bloke came up to me, he goes, Oh mate, I, I really like your voice, where can I where can I find your music? I, I, I gave him some of my details, my YouTube, my SoundCloud and stuff. And then um, I asked him his name, he goes, oh yeah, it's, it's Will. I was like, oh, he goes, no, Will, Will Young. <laughs> Thing is, I knew, but I didn't want to say it just in case it wasn't Will Young and I looked like, <laughs> look like a bit of an idiot. But yeah, Will Young took my details because he was doing, in Bristol doing um, a show at the Hippodrome. So that was quite cool. It's a long day and I'm living in the sea. There's a freeway that's running through my yard. I'm a bad boy because I don't even miss her. I'm a bad boy. Mainly it's just the drive, like, because I know I, 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 can't, I can't do this forever. Wave out the way, wave out the way.